What's going on guys, it's Jeff for Premium Aquatics and today we're going to be taking a look at salinity and how to measure it. This is the first time being here, this is where I team up a Premium Aquatics to take a look at gear that is available to you and how it can help you become a more successful hobbyist. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell so you can stay up to date every time that we upload a brand new video. All right, guys, so let's jump right into it. Salinity is probably one of the most important aspects of keeping a saltwater aquarium. And in the same breath, it's probably one of the most undermeasured aspects of a saltwater aquarium. It doesn't matter if you're keeping a fish only system, a fish only with live rock, or even a full blown reef aquarium. A refractometer is an important aspect of measuring salinity in a saltwater aquarium. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Tropic Eden refractometer and we're going to talk about how to calibrate it, how to use it, so you can maintain the perfect level of salinity in your reef aquarium. So the ideal range for salinity in a saltwater tank or reef tank is between 34 and 36 parts per thousand. And if you're measuring specific gravity, you're looking for 1.021 to a range of 1.026. Me personally, in my saltwater aquariums, I shoot for 35 parts per thousand. Now, like with most refractometers, the Truton is going to come with a user's manual. It's going to come with some pipettes. A calibration tool and it's something that was a little bit different that I haven't gotten in previous refractometers is the carrying or storing pouch it was a pretty nice touch that they have there the overall quality of the true Eden refractometer is really impressive and it's probably one of the heaviest units that I ever have used in my time during the hobby overall build is very similar to most standard refractometers it is a little bit heavier like I've already talked about uh, one thing that I was really impressed with is this protective coat that it had over the prism. Uh, it's something that you typically don't find on most refractometers. Now let's jump into calibrating a refractometer so you can get the most precise measurement when you are checking the salinity in your reef aquarium. When you're calibrating your refractometer, there is some misconceptions out there floating around on the internet and a lot of people will use RO water to calibrate their refractometer. This isn't really the best way to go about it. There are calibration fluids available and I use them personally myself and the benefit to using a calibration fluid is you're dialing in the refractometer to a specific gravity, not necessarily to zero with fresh water. So when you look through your refractometer, you're basically going to see this blue line. The base of that blue line is the level of salinity and or specific gravity. What we measured here was RODI water. That's why we got a reading of zero. The problem with calibrating your refractometer with fresh water is it can give you false readings. So there could be some salinity present at that point. And if you are continuously getting the wrong readings, eventually you're going to have too much or not enough salt in your reef aquarium. With a calibration fluid, you are dialing it in to 35 parts per thousand. And right here, you are going to in fact see, even though that the fresh water was reading zero parts per thousand, the calibration fluid that measures 35 parts per thousand is not reading properly on the refractometer. So if you are mixing salt water, and adding it to your tank and taking readings with this refractometer based on the fresh water reading, you would not have enough salt in your saltwater aquarium. So to calibrate your refractometer, all you need to do is take the plug off and use your calibration tool and slightly turn the calibration tool till you get to the correct 35 parts per thousand. And that's all you need to do to calibrate a refractometer. Another helpful tip when you're using a refractometer is to wipe it down and then rinse it with fresh RO water. This is going to help remove any salts from the prism and help you avoid false readings in the future. I avoided using refractometers for a long time and I wish I hadn't. They are extremely accurate and make measuring salinity in your saltwater aquarium very easy. If you want to check out the Tropic Eden True Saltwater Refractometer, there is a link provided in the description below. That's going to do it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you next time right here with a brand new video. Mm -hmm.